Spring is officially here, and the season can be warm one day and chilly the next, kind of like tomorrow. We have a trend to show you from averaging out temperatures over the spring, and here's how spring warming impacts the Pacific Northwest. After a February freeze with snow and ice, a spring warm up with temperatures near 60 is a welcome change, right? Well, maybe not. Spring warming is an annual part of our normal seasonal weather cycle. Some years it's slow and some years it's quick. But every year the renewal of spring brings a different imprint. All the warm ups and the cool downs averaged out show a trend. With the start of spring, let's look at how temperatures have warmed up over the last 50 years. Since 1970, in 243 cities, roughly half have had their average spring temperatures warm by two degrees Fahrenheit or more. Seattle is now experiencing 2.2 degrees warmer than normal average spring temperature. Nearly all cities felt more spring days with above normal temperatures. With Seattle, now experiencing 16 more days of spring above normal. What happens if this trend continues? With extra spring days and warmth, we see increased avalanche danger. Rapid rainfall and melting snow in the mountains would increase flood events. Bears come out of hibernation early. There's a longer season for mosquitoes and a longer allergy season. Large temperature swings could increase blowing dust for central Washington, which could spark an earlier start to wildfire season. And we're not going into wildfire season, but we are definitely going into spring storm day for the day tomorrow. Already we're seeing clouds on the increase further north around the northern Kitsap Peninsula. This is Hansville. You can see the cloud cover. It seems to be getting a little bit more dim, and it looks like we've captured a hawk dead center flying toward the tree. That's really neat. It's a live cam, streaming cam from skunkbayweather.com if you want to check that out. Great weather conditions to follow there as well. Speaking of weather conditions, Olympia at our school net station is showing those macro clouds up high, the alto cumulus that typically comes in ahead of a storm. We're getting these kinds of clouds right now at Olympia and we're watching things just get more and more hazy behind, from Mount Rainier in the background. 54 degrees and cloudy for Seattle. Wind out of the south nine miles an hour and the pressure it is falling. Temperatures right now are 53 degrees for Seattle and 51 in Tacoma. Still a little bit more mild for Chehalis at 59 degrees, but we are all going to cool off fast tomorrow. We expect rain to hit the north coast and up to the north interior for Whatcom and Skagit counties around 8 a.m. tomorrow. As it moves inland, that'll be a little closer to noon that we'll all have this round of steady rain, moderately heavy in some spots. It moves through fast and we're left with scattered showers and convergent zones, which you can see by that band that moves from Port Angeles all the way across the Strait of Juan de Fuca and into the mountains north of Everett, but also one around Seattle eastward. That is another type of a convergent zone that's more intense. And this also indicates to us where we're going to get the heavier snow in the mountains. But the wind will be the first thing we notice. Now expect around 9 a.m. for the wind to pick up on the coast and around the north interior for the San Juans and for Whatcom and Skagit counties. But Puget Sound, our southerly winds will begin to surge up the sound, 25 to 35 miles an hour, gusting to 45 miles an hour, starting around noon, and that goes until 6 p.m. Now the wind advisory changes as we get to 1 p.m. because the wind will change to westerly, and once it changes to westerly, it slams down the Strait of Juan de Fuca, and boy. Whidbey Island is really going to take the brunt of so those westerly wind gusts up to 50 miles an hour. So we're tracking the storm. Initially, we're seeing a little light sprinkles along Vancouver Island. We're just beginning to see signs of rain 200 nautical miles offshore from the coastal Doppler radar. And tomorrow we'll have the wind, rain, mountain snow, then a risk of a thunderstorm too as the cold air comes in. So tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. to 5 a.m. Monday, we're going to get a lot of new snow in the mountains and the snow level tomorrow will be falling. In general, 2,500 feet will be the snow level and we'll get up to 27 inches from the convergence zone over Stevens paths, you see the convergence zone in green indicating too, that's where we could see some wet snow coming down to the surface. No real accumulation, but it certainly will keep it interesting through the day tomorrow. So tonight, low to mid 40s for your lows, windy rain to showers tomorrow, that slight risk of a thunderstorm in the afternoon, and most of you will have highs in the upper 40s to around 50. So it's going to be a stormy day.
and then we're going to get a little quiet to enjoy some spring weather. We're going to have some chilly nights, though, as we go more forward in time. Thursday, it looks, uh, Sebastian, like we might have a morning shower, but opening day of the Mariners, why, it looks pretty good. All right, a lot of changes to keep you busy. Rebecca, thank you. More